So I'm going to introduce myself, I think. So we have free speech, might as well get up here and actually use it, right? Hate speech is not real. Hate speech is a joke. Hate speech is a meme. Hate speech is something that is used to censor opinions that the establishment and the bourgeoisie, transient, international, ruthless elite find to be inconvenient. Hate speech is not a legal term. Hate speech is, is a construction of the easily offended. Hate speech is what snowflakes <laughs> use when they hear things they don't like and they want to censor you. So we'll just uh, give the, uh, the middle finger over there and your... Uh, Oh, you like to do so. That is freedom of speech, and I support that. But here's the thing: what a lot of you guys don't realize, when you're out there campaigning to end free speech, to end hate speech, right? Hate speech is a subjective term. The second you ban hate speech, that as soon as someone who disagrees with you gets in office, they can turn around and enforce that back on you. We've seen this in government throughout history. You empower the government to censor your speech and they will flip and use that power to censor you, okay? So here's the thing. You think it's, it's, it's smart and wise to ban hate speech from, from evil, you know, uh, neo-Nazis or whatever you want to say that, that, that I am, which I am not. It's free speech and I'm going to use it. You don't like it, you can leave America. It's an American free speech. So here's the thing. As soon as you start to keep campaigning to ban people's freedom of speech, Things will, you know, as soon as the, the power system is flipped, it's going to get real inconvenient for you, okay? And uh, that's not, that's not like, you know, some kind of conspiracy theory. This is just history. You look at uh, the regimes in Eastern Europe. You look at the regimes throughout Europe. You look at the regimes throughout Asia, okay? They are censoring people's freedom of speech right now because the powers that be don't like it. And so I, I get it. You guys want to, you know, censor me or whoever else because you don't like what we're saying. That's fine. But just be careful because as soon as you get your wish, Things may flip the other direction, and you won't like what happens. We should all be committed to protecting free expression and free speech, even when it's offensive. What's up, Mr. President? What's up, President? What's up, baby? Thanks. Oh, appreciate sorry, it, um, <laughs> We should all be committed to protecting free expression yeah. because it, it applies equally to everyone. Okay? <laughs> regardless of your race, regardless of your opinion, regardless of your beliefs, free speech protects you. Okay? And for that reason, we should all be committed to it. So thank you, David, for organizing this today. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. Although I, I have a feeling most of you guys are or opposed to free speech or bad hate speech, but you know, whatever. You know, look at look at history, look at the historical record, and you'll see that when people start banning free expression, things do not end well. Thanks, guys. Yeah. I love it.